Was he a murderer? He was. Yeah, he's, he was responsible, I believe, for killing the children. For what? The children. The children. Did yeah. you kill children, you nasty bastard? Yes. Did you? Did you? This, this oh, creature yeah. was responsible, very responsible. Yes. Yeah, absolutely How many children? How, how many children did he kill? Many children. <gasps> you many evil, children. evil person. The screams of the children. Illegitimate. Speaking to him in Latin, telling him he's a oh bastard. Go on, go on, Leslie. Legitimize. It's lifted, it's lifted. Keep God. away! Go on, no, 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 keep your hands on the table! Keep your hands on the table. On the table. Go on, keep saying it, Leslie. Keep saying it. Illegitimize. You alright, Brian? That's amazing. Say it again, Leslie. Nia Dominus! Go on! Not the master! Go on, Leslie, keep going. Neil. 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 What the f is this? You're dealing, you're dealing with an absolute evil, evil thing. It's intermittent, isn't it? Yeah. What are you saying, Leslie? There was a rolling, which must have been from this sound. And I don't know about you lot, but I'm going to have an archangel standing by me. <laughs> with the seance proving inconclusive, Carl is determined that he must master his fear of what lies in the tunnels. Taking Stuart as a trusted friend and reassuring presence, he returns to the tunnel to confront his nemesis. Why, right, Stuart? Where are you? Right. I can see it. I can't see a thing, can I? Oh, well, should we go up there? I mean, well, I can't see you. Where are you? I don't know where I am. I you don't, I don't know where you are either. Where are you? Where are you, mate? Oh, there you are. I've got you. Got you. Don't move. Oh, I'm sorry. I've got the red light there. Okay. Right. So, okay. where are we going? Oh, what was that? Did you see that? Hello? I was for, oh, oh, What's on the floor? I can't see it. Bloody There's footsteps then. I know, that's what I heard. Whoa! What? Careful, mate. Alright. Was that you? I didn't know. It wasn't me at all. I can't see it. That's a plastic tank. Oh, Careful, it's almost falling over then. Did that slam on you then? Yeah, just, just check it, just check it, because I walked through it, so. Oh, Please show yourself to us if you're here. What was that, Carl? What the f was that? That was through there, that's bollocks. Is anyone else down here? Is that you trying to get our, our attention? Is that the door? That's the door. Whoa, whoa. whoa. They've just closed, Carl. Oh, that. No. I've no. gone, gone. Get out. Get the out. What was that? What? No, I don't like the doors. The door, the door things. Don't, I don't like the door. The hideous dread that emanates from the caves has proved too much for Carl and Stuart, and they determine that there is nothing further to be achieved by being foolhardy so draw the investigation to a close. With so much having happened over the two nights we've spent in Chiselhurst Caves, I'm sure that Dr. Kieran O'Keefe will have much to say regarding our experiences. The majority of reports that we're dealing with at Chiselhurst Caves are to do with acoustic phenomena. Yeah. Right. Oh, oh my God. That was horrid. What that was this stuff. The mere reverberation 
if somebody's humming or somebody innocent talking can appear as though it's coming from a completely different area of the cave network. However, I know, because of some of the work that I've done on infrasound, and also because of speaking to Roger, the sound man, we know that this is a viable explanation for the groaning and for the apparent spirit sounds that were caught by the most haunted team. Shh. Oh my God. What's up, Cam? I can hear footsteps. Behind us. Your own feet scuffing on the cave floor can actually bounce back against the walls and the ceilings and it's almost as though you're getting a sense that the footsteps are behind you so you're hearing a slight delay in effect it just goes on and on with it what is that? all in all the second night's investigation of Chislehurst caves was fascinating for the auditory phenomena that was captured but also fascinating for the natural explanation that it threw up. The two-night investigation of Chislehurst Caves have left the team very shaken. Was it simply strange noises within the claustrophobic tunnels and our imaginations running wild? Or was it truly contact with spirits from beyond our comprehension? You have witnessed the footage as it happened, so it's up to you to decide. Until next time, sleep tight. Oh.